Okay, art. I can pretty much tell you anything, right? Yeah, of course. Well, I got a call the other night from this guy, Leon. I used to work with him up in San Francisco back in the day. Said he lost his job as a butcher for drinking on the clock. He's dating a girl with trust fund money here in LA. I mean, I don't like him that much, but he's the kind of guy that hangs on to you, you know? Uh, sure. She pretty much takes care of him now. Hey, listen, can you give me another beer? I've been sitting on though for a little while. We're chatting on the phone. Leon tells me he and his lady have solved the meat shortage. I start thinking to myself, what meat shortage? So he tells me to come over, and I didn't have anything else going on, so I went on over. The Rams were playing that day. Leon turns on the TV, and we start to watch. Sophie, his trust fund chick, she's in the kitchen finishing up dinner. So Sophie comes out of the kitchen and sits down on the couch next to us and starts drinking her beer. They look like they haven't had an argument in a couple of days and the state of affairs was calm. Leon starts jabbering about, did you see what happened to Trump the other day? But I can't respond. I mean, it all bores me. Yeah, right. I don't give a damn about this country so long as I make it, you know what I mean? Out of nowhere, she turns to me and starts talking about how all doctors treat their patients like sheep and how the whole healthcare system's fucked up. She said that she would rather have Leon as her doctor any day. That's a stupid statement, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know the guy. So we're sitting there watching the TV, drinking beer, and out of nowhere, Leon turns to me and says, Hey, yo, Ezra. I got a really weird chick, man. She likes it when someone watches us fuck. That's right. That's what really gets me going. You would think it'd be easy to find someone to watch, but it's not. It's hard as hell. It's really weird. People want to be paid for that. I mean, paid to watch this beautiful body. I don't get it. I don't say anything. I just sit there watching the TV a little puzzled. After a few moments pass, she gets up and walks across the room. Leon follows her. You fucking whore. And then she looks up from underneath to see if I'm watching. And when she sees that I am, she starts squirming like a mad snake. So they really go at it for a while and then finish it off. Then <laughs> with that, Sophie gets up, goes to the bathroom, and Leon goes into the kitchen for more beers. Thanks, man. You're a really big help back there. You have no idea. Then the Rams finally scored. Leon starts up on the whole Trump thing again. It's the beginning of the end for America, man. Everybody's so greedy. The hatred runs so deep. The decay is really set in now. Hey, man, you hungry? I think dinner's ready. She made a roast. There were slices of pineapple on top of it. Mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, garlic bread, and a salad with those little stuffed olives in it. It was good. Seeing as how he's a butcher and all, I asked him what kind of beef it was. It's a shank, a human shank, the upper part. It's a 14-year-old boy. Me and Sophie met him in Venice. He was homeless, so we took him in, we fed him. He watched us do the thing for three or four days, but we got kind of tired of that, so we slaughtered him and plopped him in the fridge. Oh, he gave me this friendship bracelet. Isn't this cool? Haven't seen these in years. He gave that to me. Well, you did take his virginity. I don't believe you. Anyways, it's better than chicken, huh? And no nitrates? Although I don't prefer it to a porterhouse. That's my fave. 
He really fucking said that? You really fucking said that? I think he's kidding, and I said, let me see your fridge. So he said, sure, over here. He goes over to his fridge, opens it up, and Jesus Christ. You're a killer? Oh my God, would you grow up? Mankind's been killing each other for hundreds of years and handing out medals for it. Half of the Earth's population is starving on the streets right now, and we watch it on YouTube. No one gives a fuck. Where have you been? This is f fucking sickening. You're a killer. You're a murderer. This isn't murder, man. Nothing is murder, you understand? And until you break free from mankind's programming, you're never going to be free, man. Oh, look at that. I think Sophie's starting to like you. I tell you, Art, those walls began to spin. I kept seeing that head in that chopped up meat. I mean, there's just something so quiet about seeing a murder thing. You start thinking that murder thing should just keep screaming. You didn't go to the police? Well, Art, it's hard, you know? I mean, they kind of adopted me into their little circle. It's not as if they were trying to hide anything from me. Well, the way I see it, you're an accessory to murder. Well, you know, I got to thinking. I mean, I've known a hell of a lot of people that I have disliked way more who never killed a damn thing in their lives. Okay. You sit right there. I'm calling the police. Look, Hart, this isn't for you to decide. The hell it isn't. I'm a goddamn citizen. You sick fucks can't just go around killing people and popping them in the refrigerator. Hell, what if I'm next? Look, Art, I want to tell you something. What? It was bullshit. What, the whole thing? Yeah, man, it, it was all bullshit. I made it up. It was a big joke. Now put your gun away and pour us both a drink. Nah, that story wasn't bullshit. I'm telling you it was. That wasn't a bullshit story. No one tells a story like that. No, no one jokes like that. I'm telling you it was bullshit. Nah, I don't believe that. Let you. 